Hey there friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Diana and today we will be reading a book called, drumroll please, The Tiger Skin Rug by Gerald Rose and Kate Grinaway. Okay, but first, before we start, I have noticed that you haven't necessarily subscribed yet. Let's change that very quick. Okay, the subscribe button's down there, it's very easy. But there's a twist. Can you subscribe without using your pointy finger? Okay, I'm gonna give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Now let's get into it. There once was a very thin tiger who lived on the edge of the jungle. He was sad and thin because he was getting old and food was difficult to catch. The monkeys threw nuts at him and called him names. At night he would gaze at the Raja's palace. And sometimes he would look in the windows as the Raj and his family ate their food in warmth and comfort. Oh, how he wished that he could join their friendly company. Look like they're having a very good time. One day he was watching a servant beating the rugs in the palace gardens. One of the rugs was a tiger's skin. Then the tiger had an idea. While the servant's back was turned, he jumped over the wall, took down the old tiger skin rug and hid it under a bush and draped himself over the line. The servant continued with his beating and beat poor old Tiger even harder than the rest of the rugs because he looked so dusty and moth-eaten. Finally, when there was not a speck of dust left, the servant carried all the rugs back into the palace and sp spread them about in their correct places. Tiger was put in the dining hall. Soon the Raja and his family came in to have their evening meal. They laughed and ate and talked and Tiger was glad to be in their company. They did not notice him for he looked thin and moth-eaten just like the old tiger skin rug which they were used to. After the meal, when they had all left the room, Tiger jumped up and finished all the scraps. Then he drank some tea and lay down for a good night's sleep. This was a wonderful life and he was determined not to spoil it. Every day he enjoyed the family's company. Every evening he finished the scraps and drank some tea. But he was very careful to keep very still whenever anyone came into the room. At first, nobody suspected that he was not the real tiger skin rug because he was so thin and looked so moth-eaten. The Raja would play and frighten the children with him. The children would pretend he was a real live tiger. But Tiger was worried because he knew that he was not as thin as he used to be or as moth-eaten. One day the Raja said, How strange! The old tiger skin rug has improved with age. 
but it is really beginning to smell. If it cannot be cleaned, it will have to go. The following day, the tiger was taken out into the garden and scrubbed with an old broom. The soap made his eyes sting. Then he was left on the line in the hot sun to drip and dry. When the servant carried Tiger back to the dining hall, he complained that either the tiger skin rug was getting heavier or he was getting older and weaker. That night, the tiger did not eat any scraps and he couldn't sleep. He knew that he would soon be found out and perhaps be made into a real tiger skin rug. Whatever could he do? All the hairs on his spine stood on end and at the end of his tail twitched. Three robbers were climbing in through the window. They were carrying a sack and they began to fill it with silver dishes, ornaments and anything of value. While Tiger was wondering what to do, the door burst open and the Raja rushed in. The robbers knocked him down and drew out wicked knives. When Tig then Tiger stood up and roared. The roar echoed down every corridor and round every room and across the palace gardens, waking everybody. The tiger leapt to the Raja's rescue. The three robbers took flight. They were in such a hurry that they became stuck in the window as they fought to get through all at once. When the Raja had recovered from his shock and his family and servants had gathered, the Raja proclaimed, the tiger skin rug has saved us. He must stay forever. And so he did. He was never beaten and scrubbed again, but instead he was bathed in the garden pool. He went on picnics with the family and rode on elephants. The children played with him and the Raja's wives loved him. He no longer ate scraps. He had his own plate of food and his own bowl of the best Indian tea. In the evening, he lay on the floor with the family around him, for he was still their tiger skin rug, a real tiger skin rug, and the best in the whole world. The end. Okay, what did you think of this story? Well, that's all for me. Don't forget to subscribe and smash a like on this video. Until next time, see ya!